Super Bowl. I mean, the uh, All-Star Game. Yeah. Because we're hosting. <laughs> Welcome back, viewers. It's your half-assed correspondent here, James Calm, and today we are down in Chelsea. We're going to pop in here, chime and read, and see a wonderful exhibition of paintings by Tal R. And the title of the show is Altstadt Girls. Well, I uh, came in and perused the show. And uh, I think this is uh, maybe one of the better shows I've seen in the last three or four months. We'll start out here. This is titled Rose of Smoke 2013. And uh, well, one of the interesting things about this show is that, uh, well, Tal, this is a piece from 2013. Tal has been using, and this is an example, uh, distemper, which is glue, probably rabbit skin glue, on canvas with pigment, and sometimes he adds crayon and colored pencil, but he gets a beautiful, uh, very dry surface with that. Meanwhile, this piece is titled The Drawing Class 2014. This is pigment, rabbit skin glue, and oil on canvas. Oh, this makes me think of uh, Matisse, maybe from his Algerian period, or Paul Clay. Anyway, uh, so Tal is going back to his oil painting. I think what's nice is that uh, and some of them, this one is pretty dry. And I think this might be one of the larger canvases in the show. This is 67 by 55 inches. This is a better example. This is listed as Telephone and Mirror 2014. This is oil. Thirty-eight by thirty. Now, I think the first show I saw by Tao was at uh, maybe LFL or Zach Fire, and this has got to be maybe ten years ago. And at that point, he was using a lot of oil paint like this, although his uh, his palette was very limited. This is titled Bird Mask 2014. And this is also listed as oil. But uh, there's a big difference between the surface that he gets with the, uh, the heavy impossible oil and uh, his distemper. And uh, well, I like what he does with the oil. And uh, there could be uh, like the distemper underneath. Well, we'll take a look around the main gallery. And uh, 
Patel has also made this piece. I guess it's a sculpture, but they're calling this a T-bone. Foam rubber rag rugs. And uh, what's well, nice, it's kind of got his uh, pinks and mauves in there. titled Sunday 9 and uh, this is oil on canvas but we can see the uh, the contrast between the sections that are very dry like this yellow and then the uh, more chunky surface part here in the shoulder and uh, well, he's a great colorist. It's titled Boots in Bed. Now, this one caught my eye. And, uh, well, in the press release, they talk about his, uh, his use of the classic theme of the nude in the interior. And, uh, all of these pieces are based on females, some of them nude, partially nude. This is great because it really uh, shows off his great color sense. And uh, he's got a couple of motifs that he goes back to again and again. These vertical lines. And uh, you can see the great use of that texture and the uh, overlaying the pigment. It makes me think of a Bonard. It's titled The Yellow. 44 by 27. And this is straight oil paint, but uh, yeah, he's got a great touch. And uh, he's also using a lot of, or he's riffing on a lot of art historical stuff. This is titled The Dutch. 21 to 5 eighths by 17 and 3 quarters. And uh, and the way he's kind of smashed out the uh, profile here, put the two eyes on one side of the face, recalls Matisse or Picasso. It's titled The Shower, 2014. Well, I know that uh, a lot of local painters think a lot of Tal's work. I think Chris Martin's a big fan, so am I. And I like the uh, kind of spontaneous, splashy quality. This makes me think of uh, some of the Brook artists. Kirshner. This Vogel mask, or bird mask. It's 2014. This is just the pigment in rabbit skin glue. And, uh, almost looks like he's got colored pencil or something. He's kind of sketched in over the top. I've got some of his drawings in the back we'll take a look at too. But, beautiful color, nice use of pattern. And uh, a lot of this raw canvas with just the glue on it has a kind of a, an off-white tint. So that kind of keys the whole palette. It's 
titled Sudan's Arms. This might be my uh, favorite piece in the show. And this is as uh, simple and uh, bold as a great Matisse. And uh, you know, the way that he layers his wet on wet is just beautiful. This is 44 by 22 inches. I think this is the namesake of the show. This is Altstadt Girl, oil on canvas. And even if this wasn't a figurative piece, just the, uh, the abstraction and the brushwork and uh, the overlays of color are so great that it would be a wonderful painting in any case. It does look a lot like the uh, German Expressionist. And uh, he's got away with his pinks, going from a kind of a lilac pink all the way over to a peachy pink, salmon pink, that's wonderful. It's titled E.T. 34 by 18. This is a nice chance to see that uh, he can use a, what I would call a small or maybe medium sized canvas, but he gets a lot of uh, a lot of punch there, and uh, I like the way that he uh, takes his shadows and kind of uh, blocks them out, turns them into abstract shapes, and then uh, does some real nice layering of pigments and colors. This is titled The Berlin. And again, we've got the uh, vertical stripes. This is pigment and rabbit skin glue. It's very nice about using the colored line. And uh, yeah, that uh, blue background has got a uh, kind of a aqua green layer and then a dark blue over the top. I think maybe one of the reasons he likes the glue is that, that uh, it dries fast and he can build up some great uh, color layers. Let's look at the drawings. Well, these are all just numbered, so I'm not going to tell you the titles. And we'll just glance at some of these. Most of them are crayon or graphite on glue painted paper. Oh, this is a good one. I like the way he ripped the paper at the bottom on that. Again, these are all, all women. That's nice. Some of these look like he just uh, walked in on somebody, sat down and uh, spent an hour or two trying to capture all the details. 
This is very nice. I like the way he's left the top of the head unfinished. But then uh, the black stocking is very tightly worked, heavily worked. And I think the, uh, the contrast of some of these abstract forms are maybe one of the best things about its compositions. Workout gloves. This is another very nice piece. This is train driver's daughter. Oil on canvas, but um, here he gets the same kind of uh, brilliant dry color in areas as it gets on with the uh, the distemper that's nice the way he's kind of uh, cut up that face with the lines and uh, boy those colors really pop this is nice it's kind of scumbled in ultra blue over that uh, red this is titled Jacoby Smoking 2013. Pigment Ramos Gaglu on canvas 48 by 34. And again, we've got his stripes and his Matissean patterning. This is a good example, though, of what I was saying about the uh, kind of the, the off white ground. So his his canvases, his his grounds are not brilliant white, they're kind of dingy. And uh, that maybe gives him a chance to, well, use the white that he does use as a great accent, but also to uh, sort of play in the subtle coloration intervals. This is James Calm reporting on Tal R, Altstadt Girl, and Kaiman Reed, on West 25th Street in Chelsea. And as always, Thank you, Kate. So I'm gonna do my best here with the words, and I hope y'all like the show. And if you want, at the end, you can give me some dope. Show two times, sir. Check me in the door. Hey, you're great. Thank you. Times Square next.